night, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The City Council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the Reclamation Agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the, the director. Mail. Also, you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum and its aftermath. Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. The car PD bomb was out of our three hours of your immediate understanding. City. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. There's a critical target waiting on the city map. How do Welcome we go there? Welcome to click? City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until, Until tonight. Today. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. 3-1-PD requested our help sifting through evidence at the Memorial Museum. They lost good officers today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. City 31 map. The map is where we see the status of City 31 and any current targets we can send our squad to respond to. Hey, hey. Shut up, phone. No one wants to hear you squeal. Meh. Chimera Squad can respond to one target per day, after which the day automatically advances. I guess more info? Missions are tactical targets. The squad will get into combat on these. Situations are strategic targets. The squad takes care of these without entering combat. Hmm. Current targets change every day, so watch the city carefully for new priorities. Oh, the situation. 31 APD needs help pouring through the aftermath of tonight's attack. Mayor Nightingale's death has the city on edge. Let's do what we can to help. Send APC. Sending the APC to resolve the situation will automatically advance the day. No. Hmm. Is there anything else I can even do? Complete Memorial City Aftermath situation downtown. Anywhere else? Nope. Can only do this. Kind of weird. It's like, this will advance the day. No crap. You're telling me to do this. I can't do anything else. We've done what we can to aid 31 PD. Commissioner. Yeah, Commissioner Malouf passed along her thanks for helping her officers bear the weight. Continue. Your work with 31 PD opened a few doors. Here's what we know a crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Choose a faction to be the investigation target. The target faction cannot be changed until it's resolved. A loose network of human uh, scions. Their vision for City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. All right, an organization of alien scavengers. They've quietly amassed the kind of weaponry reclamation is mandated to recover. An underground can't even see that. Sacred something. Underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. Hmm, because I'm trying to think. Then again, these could just be people that could have given them the ordinance. 
alien scavengers, they've quietly amassed the kind of weaponry. Hmm. So I don't think the Grey Phoenix would have given them the ordnance. Because they're scavengers. And just like, we want this. This is ours. Blah. So unless the mayor was in on something else. Because really, the only thing we have is the hardliner. Or whatever. It was like, XCOM didn't go far enough. They got weak and soft. Pretty much saying they didn't kill all the aliens. So either sacred soil, but at the same time, they wouldn't. So I'm going to say the progeny. I don't know. I don't like you. Human scions. Human. So maybe they'd have something against aliens. The progeny have a small but loyal human membership, all with psionic capability. Victims willingly hand over what the progeny need, then forget the whole thing. The perfect crime. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 3-1-PD's jurisdiction? True. A reclamation agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous organization is off the hmm. streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. Tackling investigations. Every investigation has three stages. Groundwork. From this first mission, learn about the faction and their methods. Operations. Hidden missions that must be revealed, then completed to knock out the faction's main plans. Take down. Stop their final attack and end their threat to City 31. Investigate the prodigy. We know we need to know more. Faction overview. Loose human sounds. Yep. Investigation opened. No dark events. Progeny leadership is entirely psionic. Consultation of Templars suggests a human... Ah, the Templars were mentioned. Cool. Progeny in progress. I guess that's it. Okay. Alright. Ah, things have unlocked. Assembly online. New recruit. And critical mission. All right, let's check go to it the assembly. Out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Or we could assembly. with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. It'll Man. take time to stress test our patterns. But once we have them, we're good to go. Assembly projects are now how are how you get access to new or better items and equipment. Each project can unlock new items for XCOM supply. New weapon or armor upgrades, or a variety of other useful things. Agents assigned here decrease the time it takes to complete a project. Let's look at more info. You can advance one assembly project at a time, which takes multiple days to complete and usually cost resources, such as Illyrium. You can assign an agent to assembly duty to speed up the current project. However, they will then be unavailable for missions or situations. Illyrium is one of three resources Reclamation requires. It is meant to complete projects on assembly. So I have 70 Illyrium, 150 credits. Android, no weapons. So only Android. For 10 Illyrium. Takes two days. Grants one Android tactical unit. Android units purchable in supply. Unlocks all entry-level assembly projects. Well, I guess that's it. Go to Armory. The Armory is where you manage your agents. Loadout. Manage weapons, armor, and other items. Agent Abilities. Unlock new abilities by promoting agents that have earned enough XP. Agent Biography. Learn more about the agent's background. Tent Armor. Change colors in your agent's uniform. Okay. The Director convinced the City Council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. So let's see... Shelter, psionic, ally buff, mental attacks. Relocate, agent psionically swaps positions with targeted enemy or ally. Does not automatically end turn. Or blue blood, precision shooting multiple shots. Did I? Take, uh, agent takes a shot with 15% aim penalty for 50 plus damage boost. Does not end turn if used as first action. Hmm, these are all good. I'm kind of leaning towards blue blood. 
Let's see, toggle biographies. Prior to invasion, born and trained on an invasion transport ship, actively participated in the invasion of Earth, part of the first wave into pairs. Selected as the candidate for conversion into a muton infused with human genetic material. After restraining sir retraining served as various advent city centers as high value target security transferred to city 31 provided security at the starport and ascension tower after advent surrender he was instrumental in stopping a chrysalid outbreak in the fringe detention abridged due to his role in ending bucktown massacre joined the reclamation agency at xcom's request his ability to lead by example is boomed Khmer squad Hmm, because I do want him because he's cool. He looks cool and he can destroy cover and stuff. Smash. Agent charges at target and smashes down with both fists. Chance to disorient, stun, or render unconscious. Higher rage improves the chance of applying disabling effect. Rage. Higher rage raises the chance of applying disabling effect with melee attacks. Battering Ram. Burst through a door at breach point with a chance to panic nearby enemies. Panic chance increases with rage. Hmm. I guess I'll go with you just because you're cool. Oh, can I? Oh, I can only choose one. Yep. That's what I figured. Come along, Axiom. Whisper, there's a problem. Axiom, welcome. What's wrong? I, uh, noticed someone took the biggest locker. Yep, that was me. I knew you'd get here eventually and grab it so no one else would. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll move my stuff. Yeah, that's the problem. I already did. Violently. <laughs> you... didn't you see the note? Yeah, afterward. I'll replace what I can. <laughs> Let's see, loadout. Shotgun. Body armor. Any breaching? Any utility? Nothing! <laughs> Agent abilities. Agents earn experience which lead to promotions. Each new rank provides increased stats, and some unlock new abilities, and new training programs. At certain levels, you can ch have a choice between two abilities. Decide which one you want. So, a lot of abilities. Tent to everyone. Then they're not boring. Oh wait, I'm, I'm being stupid. I can do select up there. There we go. Agents idle. Our temporary field office has all the basics. Weapons, comms, and ammunition. all your core items and, and equipment. Supplies items you unlock from simple projects become permanently else. available here. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. Credits is one of three resources that are spent to, to supply in both new we items can and get upgrades. A sweet deal on combat grade androids. I know. Everyone hates them. <laughs> Shrank rounds. If the target would be killed, they will be rendered unconscious instead. Unconscious units are captured at the end of each mission. Reclamation gets more intel from live captures than body counts. A agents are encouraged to incorporate non lethal shrink rounds into their loadouts. Tracer. 5 plus aim. Ceasefire grenades. Disable all fire alarms in a large radius. Hmm. Just, agents who need a better entry point rely on breaching charges to give them a better way in. And I'm guessing that I can't just... Let me go to armory, just to make sure. Let me look at your loadout, because it said you... Ah, so breaching charges... I wonder if breaching charges are, like, permanent, or if they get used up. It's hard to tell. Let's go up here. 
nothing but uh, investigate the progeny for 35 credits. I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, let's see. Whisper here. I'll keep you updated on any activities requiring our attention. Speaking of which, an entire progeny front company just opened fire. Should we should check this out, right? Hmm. Let's send him in because he should be able to knock people around. Okie doke. Send APC. The. Activities is currently unaddressed. What are more agents is idle? No, then. And how the hell do I? Can I assign someone here? Ah. You get in there. Good. That's how you click it. Yay. There we go. Hostile Send forces APC. need leadership to function. If authorized by the director, you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. Hmm. If so, I might just buy a few Trank rounds. Let's go to the Dippity Doo. Trank rounds. Could get Tracer, but hmm. But only plus five. If it was plus ten, it would be worth it, but only plus five. So I think I'll spend a bit more to get so that we have two people firing Trank rounds. Yeah. Uh, boop. I'm gonna be stupid. Ba -doo -doo -doo. Have some trank rounds, my lady. And you can be our other subduing guy. Alright then. Let's go. Vroom vroom! If an agent is down in combat, be sure to stabilize them or finish the encounter. Civilians can be rescued from combat situations by moving adjacent to them. Civilian casualties will cause unrest to rise. 3-1-PD asked to speak with this company's owner about his connections to the progeny. That's when his staff pulled weapons, and the police barely made it out. I've read about Yeesh. human workplace violence. Shameful behavior. <laughs> fair, fair. Last unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. But you should have their weapon disabled. Well, then, I guess having. And I guess Mr. Smash em Up would be best to go through here. Alright, then, let's breach. Reaching. It's go time! Hmm, Thrall. Thrall Acolyte. I guess, boom. I want to keep the thralls alive because I think the thralls are innocent. So go for the acolyte. Shoot him down. Go for that thrall, will ya? Knock down that acolyte.
Once per mission, agent can be moved on the timeline so that they take, take the next turn. This ability is shared by the entire squad. Preparation. Preparation grants a defensive bonus and moves the agent in next turn earlier in the timeline. Use this when an agent is caught in a dangerous situation or coordinate. Blast that thrall. Get out of here, thrall. Cool seeing a snake employee, basically. Those hybrids moved in unison, part of a larger whole, like Advent soldiers. If they fight as one, they'll make mistakes as one. Breach mode. I think I might just get everyone <laughs> tranked thingies. Secure entrance. There are fewer aggressive enemies present. First through entrance will be rooted for one round. Yeesh. All units entering here, 25 during breach. I think I'm going to send everyone through here then. Maybe. Mainly because I don't like that. I don't like that. Root it for one round? No. Breach, everyone! Sesame! Alright, so Thrall. Thrall. Acolyte. Thrall. Acolyte. Gonna go for him. Yeah, I need to take out the acolytes, I think. Damn it. That guy. Finish him off, will ya? Well, he gets to move. Don't shoot an innocent. Don't you dare shoot an innocent, I swear. Okay. I don't want to kill too many thralls, but let's see. This jerk is next in line. Okay, so. Let's see. Then again, if he's next in line. Oh, yeah, the guy up there. He's going to be annoying. Yeah, there seems to be a good place. Then. Sorry, dude. Ah, crap. Now they he can get a shot off. Move and grow. Beasts, hear the sea. At least that means I can beat you up. Number two. He's number two. Dang, there is no good place. I want to get rid of him. Come on, prepares for their next turn by increasing defense and their dodge by 50. The next turn is moved earlier in the timeline. Removes burning. Alright, let's go here, see what I can do, because I want to get rid of that guy. Yep. Let's go for it. Let's 
go. Knock out that thrall, man. Okay, good. He's okay. Charge bash this fool. Each time damage is blocked with kinetic shield, higher charge increases the damage of that and deal. Okay, speed up that dude. Get them all. More and tell. Made the arrest. I like this. It seems slower a You're bit, but I like to it. Some offices. Now the owner must be holed up in there. Alright, how many places do we have? All units entering here. Agent damage likely. All non-aggressive enemies guarding the entrance will be surprised. All units entering here. 25 defense from... That's not worth it. Definitely go here. Let's go. Making a path. Breach charge, yeah. Let's see what we have in here. Thrall and another acolyte. Take fire on that acolyte. And I guess let's see. Take fire for him. Take fire for him. Take fire for him. Damn it, I missed. That's the VIP. Subdue if possible. Let's see. Who's next? That guy's next in the turn order. How much damage does Charge Bash do? Three damage. And better go for the shot. Damn it. And he missed two. Let's see. Brisk's going berserk. Smash. Make them go for it. Ah, but he's disoriented. Yay. Yay, disorientation. Position. I'm just getting lucky all these guys are missing their shots. Yeah, because that guy hunkered down. Like, annoying. But I need to take this shot to try and get him down. Booyah! Make it so that they can't get moves off. And some dude only does two to three damage, so sorry, Thrall, you're gonna have to die. Into the action! Take him out. <laughs> Accountant. Knock him down. 
after everyone's dealt with them though. Fuck em. Yeah, just subdue him. Go on, get out of here. Subdue the target. Hell yeah, flawless. 12 enemies captured. Front company shut down. Way to go. Whatever their plans were, the Prodigy no longer have that company on their payroll. Oh, and Director Kelly is on the line. I'll patch her through when you get back. Hell yeah. I love this. This is awesome. Yeah, it definitely feels smaller and definitely a little bit more budgety than the original, but. or the original, but. I like it. It feels nice. It feels well designed. 20 intel earned from captured enemies. Aliens in your agency? Jane, what are you thinking? I mean, what is our greatest existential threat? The Elders returning. If they do, we who will we need to fight them off? Everyone, I get it. I've seen the projections. But do you really think the commander will go for this? I think the commander has always seen the bigger picture. Huh. Thank you very much for watching, and if in you would leave a like, that would be just a little bit dandy. If you'd like more from me, click subscribe to be up to date with these videos, and maybe hit up my main channel for reviews and rambles about media that catches my fancy, and maybe even my Twitter and Twitch for art and occasional streams if I ever get back into that again. And once again, thank you muchly, and I will see you next time. Gotta fly.